like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Manchester Swain through. Oh, he's got a man for all goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. What's going on guys and welcome to a new episode from my road to Division 1 with a silver bronze team. In my last episode I said that I will change my team and go for a Bundesliga silver team. Because I really wanted to use Malapa as a striker, I think he's perfect for my style of play. As you can see I did that and now I am with a new team. You guys recommended me the Korean center back and I must say I am really impressed in this guy so thanks for the advice. Getting now to our Q&A section if you are new on my channel this is a series where you get to put questions regarding the gameplay or regarding whatever you want and I will answer them in my next episode. The first question is, what should I focus on more, shot power or shot direction? Both shot power and direction matter, but when trying to score, one of the most important thing is the distance between where your player is and where the goalkeeper is. If you are too close to him, you will have to dribble him, else he will save the shot. But if you have the right distance from the goalkeeper, you should only aim to the far post, power up at 50% and release the shot. Who do you think will win the World Cup? Well, it's very hard to predict the winner, but in my opinion, Brazil and Germany are the big favorites at the World Cup. What do you think about the formation with one single striker? Well, this formation is the best for crosses that's the biggest advantage that you have when using such a formation also it's better in my opinion to use a system with one striker when you have um, a player like Ibra or Ronaldo because, because they are just too good there and they can make the difference on their own if your favorite tactics are 4-2-2-2 and 4-2-3-1, why do you use 4-1-2-1-2 in Ultimate Team? Well, in head-to-head -head, I use 4-2-3-1 and 4-2-2-2 because I have the teams and I have the players for these two formations. Instead, in Ultimate Team, the game is a bit different. It's more about getting in as many shots as possible. But as soon as I get the players that I want in Ultimate Team, I will go back to a 4-2-2-2 or a 4-2-3-1 formation. What are your preferred strikers or whom would you use for a Serie A 3-5-2 squad? Well, in a 3-5-2 formation from the Serie A, I would have to go with Ibarbo and Balotelli. Both are strong, fast and good at headers, but in the same time they have nice ball control and dribbling. Have you thought about making them a bit longer and adding one or two more matches and a bit more Q&A in your episodes? Well mate, I need to keep this series interesting and answering all the questions in one episode would mean I am giving away all my secrets at once and I need to keep something for the ne next episode also. Well, I'm just joking man, I only think that 5-6 minutes per episode is the perfect length. So fellas, as you can see my first game with this team in this division was a show of force. 5-1 was the final result. Malapa with a beautiful double proving me I made the right choice in building a team around him. Don't forget to drop your comments below, ask me anything you want about gameplay, about tournaments, about ultimate team, everything is open to discussion. Lately you guys have been amazing, I have been receiving a lot of support from you, so now I will try something more. Can we push for 150 likes at this video? That would mean the world for me. Thank you for watching, my name is Ovi, see you next time.